fellow YouTube friends, it is Molar Molar, and I'm excited about the new campaign. Even though we're very early in it, I'm having some fun. I'm excited about this mission because we get to do some trade finally, and we get to build a monument. We're required to get 1,500 people. Pretty modest ratings for the win condition. 1,500 people is a perfect size for our large senator block. We should be able to take them up to common residences and that will give us a maximum of 1,520 people. So we're going to want to feed all of our employment off of a large senator block. I'm going to send a road down from the Kingdom Road where the immigrants are going to arrive down towards the floodplains and the reeds because that's where the action is going to happen. We have three gods in this mission. Ta is our patron god, but we're going to do most of our festivals to Bast as she gives festivals to all the other gods. At a level of 1,500 people, Ta is going to need eight shrines total. Remember, two shrines equals one temple. And Bast and Osiris are going to need four shrines. Going to take advantage of the large senator block holding two gods in a library. And since we can't do libraries this mission, I'll just replace it with the temple and all three gods will get a temple. That means we're going to have to find two shrines somewhere to the local gods and six shrines to Ta. It's currently January and the floods don't come till early September, so we have a pretty long growing season here. That's 12 chickpea farms and 8 barley farms. I usually like to do one work camp for every eight farms, so we'll put down three work camps. And we'll want to make sure it doesn't burn down or fall down. Well, people are coming to town. There's a couple of other things I'd like to get into place. I'd like to get our first festival off to Bast. And I'd like to get our village palace down. And the tax collector. I'm going to put hygiene on priority. Just so we can spot the water carrier. And then we'll go on to food and farming. That's just my little way of making sure that these are all sturdy huts right off the bat rather than crude huts. I like to get the palace down as fast as possible because that allows me to pay off the building faster. The quicker you get it down, the quicker it's paid off and it offsets your wages. While we're waiting for September, I'd like to get going on pottery. Pick two clay pits and three potters to start with. We'll want to start getting our storage and distribution situation handled. We'll accept pottery here. We're also going to want a granary over here. We'll assign it to get chickpeas. We'll put a storage yard down here to accept them. And we'll want to make sure that the bazaar is buying. We'll also need a storage yard for accepting the barley. We have some unemployment now, so I'm just going to take everything off of focus and we'll just wait for the harvest and food to get to our town so we we'll want to get a couple breweries down as well i'll just start with three and then we'll need a courthouse 
and we'll have to think about entertainment. The large senator block usually takes a pavilion right in this area here, and a bandstand right here. And a booth right there. We're not going to put the pavilion in, but I do need to get the schools down. Anywhere over here should be fine. So we might just evolve what we can and wait for them to reach spacious apartment. At least one of them should. We do need to get some of our shrines down. And we won't be putting down a mortuary so I might just put the rest of the shrines in the mortuary position right here. And that should look after the gods for the rest of this session. We do need a storage yard for beer. Almost forgot about that. Managed to remember before things got backed up. Let's get that functioning tribal school up. First we need some papyrus, so we'll get three reed gatherers up. We'll get a little bit of an oversupply, because we do want to make some sales fast. And we'll get that school down. We'll get the gardens up around the outside. And we'll need to pretty up this end of the block as well, so... I'll just get a pair of statues down. Our second feeding is about to happen. Looks like some papyrus is starting to get there. And here is our trade. We'll open up the map. And we'll open up Nekin. They're the ones that buy the papyrus. I'm not quite ready to bring in the bricks. We'll try to do at least a sale. But we'll get ready to accept those bricks. We'll want to get ready to work on the monument when we can. So I think I'm going to put the work camps down. As soon as we make this sale, I think we'll have enough to open up that trade route and bring in the bricks. We'll bring in the 800 that they want to take us to the next step. We should start thinking about soaking up some of the unemployment that we're starting to get. Here's our bricks. 
So we'll start clearing the Mastaba base. We'll get our Bricklayer guilds down. Because we're just about ready to start. We're going to up our Brick imports. To get a full load off the caravan when he comes. And I'll probably just speed things up. Because there isn't really anything left to do. Other than prosper. Congratulations, you have built a capital worthy both of the living and the dead. And by developing trade relations with other cities, you have introduced your city to the world stage. But there you go, our first monument in the new campaign. I will see you in the next one.